Oh, blessings. So today I've come to talk about Urz's Stadan Galder. My runic power object is a fossil. It's a fused third and fourth tarsal of a Uruk. This is the, the object I'm using to um, connect with that energy, basically. So anyhow, um, the, the traditional, pretty much what everybody has, you know, on books and on the internet and stuff, it's basically the posture is just um, like this nature, and it's just basically bending over, creating it. And if you can straighten your back if you want and sharpen that angle if you want to really make it that literal shape, but I find it's also useful to actually bow the back, create that, you know, big shouldered, powerful roll of the front. Anyhow, and then the um, uh, the the sound is ooh, 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 and you could feel it, you could feel it. So when you're in here, you're building your core, right? You're building your strength, right in your core, your center of power. Ooh. Now, to go along with that, I actually have a whole um, Uruk, Uru's uh, posture, or sequence of postures. So I, I start with, you know, the, what everybody has, basically, you know, and then of course I do the Uru sound, the, the Uru's, the getting that Uru's, Uru, Uru, you, you can feel that power building and building and building, right? And then I, I go to the seated, which is basically... <clears throat> You know, the same thing as the standing, you know, and you could create it. So you create the shape, of course, and again, and then I go to the plow, which is this similar shape, <clears throat> but going over through your back. Let me see if I can show that real quick. And then from there, I usually just come to a rest for a couple minutes just to let my body like absorb the energy and to relax a moment. And then I come up to basically it's um, a half boat in yoga, and I hold that again, ooh, building that core, building the core. That's like a large part <clears throat> of working with urus for me is building that inner strength and power. And then also, <clears throat> to go along with inner strength, another um, thing I work with with Urus is, is grounding and, and creating that ground. And so to do that, <clears throat> in the martial arts, um, there's what they call the nine points of the foot. So you've got your heel and your two balls here, and then, then your uh, <clears throat> five toes, the tips of them and then the side of the foot right here, so it's nine points. And when you stand on that, when you create that, it actually gives a focus to what they call the bubbling well, the center of the foot, the core where we bring in the, the energy of the earth, basically. <clears throat> so you have that grounding too. So it's with Urus to me, uh, the two things that I really work with, at least right now, is, is building that core, that core inner strength, and getting a ground, you know. And so then, of course, <clears throat> and with rune yoga, it's a cumulative path, right? So that as we go through each rune, with Feu, we learn about um, opening up, right? And receiving and, 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 and feeling, sensing, right? Really feeling what's going on, you know. Feel the subtleties of the body. I mean, it's really amazing. You could take that really deep. <clears throat> so now we do that with all the runes, with all of them. And the same with Urus, right? We're building the core, we're building the strength, we're building our energy of our bodies. Because part of um, like a kind of a fusion of martial arts and yoga is the idea of uh, um, strengthening our bodies, right? <clears throat> building its integrity, clearing out any imbalances, any sicknesses, so that in fact we can totally um, optimize how much energy these bodies can work with, you know, and flow through without creating trouble. 
in our lives, physically or socially or whatever. You know, we want to we want to build our our energy <clears throat> and build our power, but we we're not wanting to create uh, disruptions in our life. We're actually like wanting to make things better. You know, I'm not looking to fuck shit up. I'm actually looking to like build stuff, create stuff, grow stuff, create beauty. You know, that's what I want to do with the power that I'm investing in, you know, that I'm working, I'm touching in, tapping into, you know, opening to. So, all right, <clears throat> with Feu, we learn to sense and feel and really be aware. And then and with Urus, we build our core and our, and, our, uh, and our center and our ground. So now with all the runes from Feu all the way back up to Othala, we're doing everything that we learn from each of these runes as we go along it's it's a cumulative. So now that when we work with uh, Thuzaz, you know we're already working with all the stuff that we've learned. So we're sensing and feeling, experiencing the posture and the energy and how it affects our our, our energetic matrix and those things that surround us. Um, <clears throat> but we're like grounding and, and building our our core, our strength, our, our will, and. Um, and now with Uzaz, you know, we work with what it has to teach us, and that translates into all the runes. So, as we go along, when we when we reach Othala, we're complete. You know, we've we we do it all in the moment, right here and now. We're always full aware and present, and we're always tapped in. We're always in a focused, controlled energy and expression. You know, all this stuff we're doing all right now in the moment. Right? That's power. That's what power means to me. And that translates into whatever, you know, creating and shifting and changing and working with reality and, and being an artist and creating what we want with it. You know, but it's, it's, a, it's a process, a time-consuming process. I, I'm learning that, <clears throat> I mean, granted, we can just take it like the Vikings did, just fucking take what we want. But, you know, that's, uh, I'm not up for that. I'm actually wanting to create it, so i got to work with it. It's slow. It's a slower process. But it's just as powerful, you know. And it's even more powerful because you don't create necessarily too many enemies, right? You're just, you're building up everything. So, yeah. Anyhow, blessings. Till next time.